Ajibo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that will be uploading. Thank you. Welcome once again to my channel. Today we are going to continue our discussion on geometric progression. But today we are going to look at application of geometric progression to our everyday life and application to business. So let's look at what we have today to deal with. As you can see on the board, we have a question, example one. A man bought a piece of land for 100,000 in 2001. The land is expected to appreciate at a rate of 25% year. What would be the value of the land by the fifth year? This is a case of application of geometric progression. We know that to get the end term of a geometric progression is AR raised by N minus 1. In this question, the value of A is 100,000. The value of N is 5. But we are left with what is the value of R. Now some students will think that because we said that it's expected to appreciate at the rate of 25,000 that we're going to use 0.25 representing the rate. This will not be correct. Why do I say that? Because we know that the formula for defining rates is second term divided by first term. Now, what is the second term in this case? We don't know that, but we know the first term. So we have to calculate what the second term will be. We're told that the, the land will appreciate at the rate of 25%, which means that we have to calculate what that rate of increase will be on the first year, which is 100,000, and know what the added to the value of the land in the first year, so that we can know the value of the land in the second year. Year one is 100,000. That's what I'm saying. Now, this year one, Year 2 will be 25% times 100,000 and this will give us 25,000. So year 2 will be 100,000 plus 25,000. This will give us 125,000. So this is the rate of increase. 25,000 plus 100,000 will give us the value of the of this of the land in the second year. Now, what we now do to get what R will be based on this, R will now be 125,000 divided by 100,000. Can you do this with me with your calculator? What you will have is 1.25. So R is 1.25. What you will do, having done this, is that each time you are given a rate, and you're dealing with geometric progression, and the rate tends to increase, what you do is to add that fractional part, which is 25% or 15% or 7.5% or 2%, add that fractional part to 1. So if you're told that the rate is at 30%, that's 0.3, add it to 1, it becomes 1.3. But if you're told that the rate is reducing, you are going to deduct it from 1. So it becomes 1 minus 0.3, this will give us 0.7. So this will be 
the rate. We will do we will deal with such kind of um, um, problem in the coming videos ahead. So let's look at what we have. Now we have established that this is R. We have now known that this is A and this is the value of N. So let's now solve this question down here. Follow me. So the nth term will be 100,000, which is A, mult multiplied by R is 1.25 raised to power 5, which is minus 1. So this becomes 100,000 times 1.25 raised to power 4. Now, solve this with your calculator. What you punch in your calculator will be 1.25 exponential. Look for this sign in your calculator. Exponential 4. And what you should have to be 100,000 times 2.44, approximately 2.44. So the value of the land, 100,000 times 2.44, what would that give you? That would give you 200 and 244,000. So this is the value of the land by the fifth year. Please do not forget to leave a comment or two on the comment section of this video and like this video, share, and most especially if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this video. Thank you.